Our exercise today is about learning to tune in to our own self, to let the genius of our body-mind system help us support what's actually going on in the messages that our body system is looking to give us. It's one of our greatest defenses and a great way to build up our immune system, to just really be able to tune in and listen to what is the body trying to say? It's genius, and let's use that genius, especially during these times when we want to really be aware of what's going on rather than suppressing it or uh, overemphasizing it. So let's begin this exercise by being aware of our current moment. One of the best ways to begin any exercise like this is, is to bring yourself into your body awareness. Our body is our, the densest part of our being. We've got body, mind, spirit, emotions, uh, all part of our system, but our physical body is the part that holds all of it. So the best way to begin an exercise of any kind like this is to start with the awareness of our physical body. So take a moment now to do that. Bring your awareness, drop your awareness down into your physical body. Feel it all the way. Be that, uh, draw that awareness all the way down to the tips of your toes. Feel your physical body. And now draw your awareness to your current activity or your surroundings. And that will be our point of focus. The surroundings might be the space you are in while you're listening to this. It could be the activity that we're doing as you're following this guidance. Notice your body's sensory experience. Visually, what do you perceive? Notice the sounds that you hear. Maybe you're smelling something. Notice your scent through your sense of smell. Are you touching? Are your hands touching your, your thighs or your knees? Notice all the senses of our physical feelings, physical experiences. The body sensory experience. Notice all those ways that we draw information into our body. Now take a moment to observe your thoughts. Mentally be aware without involvement. That's the key. To allow yourself to observe or witness the thoughts without engaging in them or fueling them or judging them. Just witness them, notice them. I like to describe it as put them on a platter Put them outside yourself and just notice their thoughts. Just notice the thoughts you're thinking. Practice observing your thoughts for the next couple seconds. Now let's observe our inner state of emotion. Using that similar example, imagine or tap into the emotion, the feelings that you're having in your body. Just witness them. Be aware of that, that feeling. If it's helpful, put it on that platter outside of yourself so that you can look at it rather than fuel it or feed it. Just observe it. Be the witness to your emotion, whatever emotional state you're in right now. Witness the experience fully in the present. Now take a moment to notice body, the first one through senses, mind, the thoughts we're thinking, and emotions, and imagine that you're able to get them all in the present moment in alignment. So that would look like I'm present to my 
current experience in my body. My mind is focused on my current experience. And my emotions are in alignment with that experience here, now, in the present moment. So take a couple breaths now, imagining that alignment, the alignment of body, mind, and emotions. Allow yourself that experience for just a few moments. Body, mind, and emotions, all in alignment. Set that intention to be present now in this moment. And take a breath on it. And notice in this experience, we were all going inward. Everything we did in this experience was about inner focus. So that's what I want to encourage you to do more of. Notice what's going on inside of you. We're very distracted right now by the external world. And often we are, even more now though. So for a moment, remember our inner world is a place where we can manage. Our inner world we can manage by staying focused on that alignment, which actually brings us to our highest potential and our greatest sense of peace. Practice. Practice it throughout your day.